Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here with a screenwriter's rant on Against the Ice, a new movie starring, excuse me, um, uh, uh, Jamie Lannister and the man who played uh, the, 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 the father Lannister. Um, the names are tough to pronounce. Nicolaj Custer-Waldu is Jamie Lannister and Charles Dance is the, the head Lannister and they're both in the movie. Uh, it's about a real explorer and Greenland in 1909. They're going on an expedition uh, to recover um, stuff from a previous expedition who died. And it's a true story. So smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Please check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Amazon.com. Kindle Unlimited is free. Thanks for tuning in. Now, little Joan, let's take a look at this movie. It looks to be an intense film about surviving in the most dire of circumstances. There's there's all the books he has to recover. Um, I looked up the real guy, uh, Eric, I think his name was. He had a, a, another unpronounceable name. And man, these guys went through absolute hell. I won't give away what they did, but it's impressive. It's impressive story of survival I may have to watch it I'm actually this is actually my second take of this I said let me look these guys up and see if they survive and uh, I don't want to give it away but it's it's amazing it's quite an amazing story so if they even do half of it I think you're 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 seeing an amazing story here a, a real an explorer man who's got cajones the size of I mean, just huge. And, you know, so it's a typical survival story. I mean, it's 1909. Uh, they, they start this expedition to go after the Danish expedition who all died to get their data back. And nobody else wants to go other than one other guy, which makes sense up to a point, right? Because in these extreme conditions, two people means you only need supplies for two people. But two people also means if one of you dies, man, you're in, you're in deep doo-doo, right? And, I mean, it's just super extreme. The dogs, of course, are protected up to a point, but you got to feed the dogs. And then at a certain point, you know, they find some of the bodies. The dogs start dying. You know, the, the, the weather just gets extreme. I mean, here's the dogs. You know, they're having problems with their feet because it's just that cold. They're trying to find this channel and, and prove whether or not it, it, it even exists. And that's what the uh, Danish were trying to do. I mean, it's just... And this is 1909. I mean, it's not like they got generators. Ugh, here's a scene where, I don't know, he got infected or something. They had to drain the pus. Ugh. God, you're talking 1909 medical stuff, too. So you got to know how to survive. you got to know how to survive. And uh, this guy... I mean, read the Wikipedia entry if you if you want to read a story. Holy cow. Um, you know, towards the end, they start hallucinating and they have to kill the dogs to survive because they got to eat them. They turn against each other. I mean, uh, they got to deal with a polar bear at one point. Let's see if I can get the... There's the polar bear. I mean, Jesus. 1909, this is. Uh, so, man. Even just shooting this movie would make me cold, right? Just just watching the trailer, I'm like shivering. Now, it comes out March 2nd, which, in my view, isn't exactly the best time to release a movie that's this cold feeling, you know? I don't know if I want to... I mean, this is March 2nd, like, you're looking forward to spring, and winter is just about over, right? I mean, March comes in like a lion, out like a lamb, but, you know, you want to hope that it starts to warm up soon and maybe you got a few more cold days thrown in there but in general you're headed towards warmth i don't know if you want to watch a movie this cold like this to me is like a movie you you put in like maybe in the middle of summer because it's like oh it, it, it's, it's kind of like it's psychological right you feel kind of cool watching a a cold movie in the middle of the summer but then again, I, I could see maybe at the beginning of winter you'd watch this because you're not really used to winter yet. You're kind of kind of looking forward to the cold. I don't know. But uh, the first act's going to be 
them getting ready for the expedition, of course, and the whole setup of the thing uh, with Jamie Lannister's dad. Then the beginning of the second act, he gets him to volunteer to go with him. And together they trek out into the wilderness and are they going to survive is the question. So then most of the second and third act is about their survival. And uh, I read a little bit about the ex expedition, so I won't go into too many details. But, you know, uh, over the course of the movie, they're trying to survive. The dogs are dying. They're running out of supplies. And then the third act, oh, it's going to be crazy. I Now that I read about the real story, I want to see, I want to see this movie. Because it's, let me tell you something, it's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. So I hope they portray it. Um, man, against the ice. I, again, I don't want to give it away. I, I, <coughs> excuse me. I assume they follow what really happened. Um, but man, what a... These guys, these guys were real explorers. Real, real explorers. Man, they did things I don't think I could do. You know? So, I think I'll be watching this. I don't know if I'll be watching it on March 2nd, though. I may be sick of winter by then. But it's called Against the Ice. Check it out. And that's it for me, Tony D. and Little Joan. Make sure you check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. We got a news blast and a Hollywoke hot take. We'll see you tomorrow.